Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, January 22nd. I'm Allison Camerata, former New York City mayor. Morning, perhaps a correction. My, my floor director said I may have said silly. Well, see, Sullenberger. Dave, Dave has but a weird silly Sullenberger. When he says, how do you say it? Say skull. Perfect. It must be the hero. Colorado you, accident. But I didn't think Colorado had there an accent. There is no Colorado right. accent. It's That's neutral. the beauty of it. We That's speak so it's just perfectly. Just him saying <laughs> everyone <strange>. else. <laughs> and that would have been a good idea. <laughs> About that, how much it costs and how they do it coming up. In the meantime, let's get to your headlines because. All right, those are your headlines. Let me just say a tweet just sent out from news from the Giffords family from Mark Kelly. We're so happy to hear this oh, morning. Good news That's there. wonderful. Well, a health care debate is back up for uh, re-litigation again. And the battle over abortion coming to the forefront again in this whole debate, thanks to sweeping Republican victories in the midterm elections last Peter, well, that's let's turn our attention to 2012. Let's do it. <laughs> We're is, always is it, talking about 2012. I know. We've, you know, here on the show, we've been talking about it quite a few things. And with the economy being the primary focus for voters, that would probably not go over well. They would want to be strong on the economy more than national security at this point in time. But we'll keep you posted. And uh, we'll see what happens as we head towards 2012. All right, it is some airlines are encouraging planes to take off with less fuel. Tomorrow, of course, guys, the big game. Oh, can't wait. How perfect on Sunday when we're off on Monday. We get Jet Steelers, we get Packers Bears. Okay. We'll, check in with, we'll check in with Rick Reichmuth in a little while to see if there's any weather moving through Pittsburgh. I can't wait to see that game outside I'm guess no. Well, we'll see. All right, let's go out to Placer County, California, where they're having a, a huge problem in schools and everybody needs to take some part in cracking down huh. on it. I mean, particularly at this school where it's so rampant and yeah. widespread. Um, so we'll see how that goes over. But, you know, the kids don't really have a choice. I mean, when no. you come home, if your parents say you're going to get drug tested, then the you're going to get drug tested. One of the little loopholes that I see in this, and it could be a bit of a problem. I don't know what's so surprising. I just spent Sorry, three days LA. there this oh. week, and uh, because it's so sunny and so warm and so beautiful, yeah. what's the point of being rude? Everybody has a spring in their step. Yeah. Everybody's just outside in the glorious sun. You don't have to say that. It's 3.30 in L.A. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. They're let's, not bring in, let's bring in uh, Rick on. Let's bring in Rick on this. Uh, yeah. People suspected their daughter was dating a bad news boyfriend. You found out he was, in fact, she was with this boyfriend. And yeah. caught you in the act. It couldn't believe it. Really like it. So, so you charge 75 bucks an hour. How do parents contact you if they want to? You have a website? I have a website, PI Finest. So <laughs> right. you should probably you hide them like David. I do. What? Well, you are. Suddenly, I'm saint. more nervous about ever flying with you guys. With us. All right. In the meantime, let's get to your headlines. Tell you what's happening because Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords is starting the re. Interesting poll numbers to look at the changes there as well. Yeah. Let's talk 2012 now. When you speak about who will be the GOP front runner to run against President. Obama, it's the usual suspects, right? It's Governor Huckabee, our colleague leading the pack, Sarah Palin, Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, perhaps even John Thune. But is there a different name that might be thrown in, one you have heard before, but not when talking about 2012, when talking about 08? And we threw this out there earlier because Rudy Giuliani, uh, the former mayor of New York City, was on Sean Hannity's show last night. He's MSNBC. That has nothing to do with Tim Plenty. <laughs> um, it has to do with Keith Olbermann. He quite unexpectedly, at the end of his broadcast, last night announced that he is leaving his show, basically stepping down, and it sounds like leaving the network entirely. Let's listen to what he said. Right. What was but the I mean, last straw. You, yeah, you want to know what the last straw is. Was there an event? Because you'll remember that he has had some dust-ups with management over the years. In fact, I think most recently in November, he was suspended for two days after it was revealed that he contributed to some Democrats' campaigns. So what was it that was the final straw? He says that it was only supposed to have this experience at my house. I have struggled to teach my five-year-olds how to dial 911 in the case of an emergency. They have never really, quite frankly, mastered it. However, they have memorized the four-digit passcode to the iPad. To unlock the four iPad. Four digits right? they can and get. They know that. Not the three and wild card, I must say. Dubuque? Well, close. <laughs> uh, because I have my own test that I put a city through, uh -huh. and that is called the MOS interview. You guys know it well. Yes. The famous man on the street where you go out with a microphone right. and you just interview people. People were blowing me off rudely in Portland, Oregon. Would never come up to the microphone when I was asking them, sir, excuse me, may I just ask you one question, one question about the weather. People, like, running away from me, giving me not-so-nice hand gestures. Very nice. Uh, what about happiest Oregon. city, nicest city you've ever lived? Okay. Can you think of it? I was, I was going to go out on a limb and say, my hometown, Denver, Colorado. The government to take it out of my bottom line. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing we know is we'd have a trillion less dollars of debt if, in fact, they didn't pass that stimulus. Yeah. But the governor is going nowhere. He's going to stay with us after the break. Does he have any plans for 2012? We're going to ask him about that. The polls sure look good. 
for the man sitting here with us. What's what's 2012? <laughs> Uh, it's a significant year. We'll explain it in the break. But meanwhile, some airlines are encouraging. See that person? Talk. Right. We all want those apps. Yes. Right. And he's uh, that was the situation. Maybe Finally, researchers say that <laughs> skipping a night of sleep takes the same amount of energy as it does to walk about two miles. That's the equivalent of burning about 135 calories. But experts warn deliberate sleep deprivation should not be used as a form of weight loss. For more info on all these stories, go to foxandfriends.com and click on for your health. It's not working for us, the sleep deprivation. <laughs> no, not at all. So right. All right, That's we're back with Governor Mike Huckabee now to talk about a little bit with the Tea Party. You know, Which way are you leaning? Yeah. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm just sort of leaning over here toward, uh, toward Dave. He's a leading Democrat this day. Oh, I appreciate it, as always. Coming up on the show, MTV's new hit show creating a lot of content. Let's do it. <laughs> Woohoo! You know there's nice. a way to their heart. Stephen Crowder, thanks so much for coming in with your take on this. Thanks for having me. Sure. All right. Well, meanwhile, some planes are taking off with less fuel. Apparently